Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial that looks at using Adobe Flash CS6 in order to create an animation. Now, what we're going to be looking at in this video, staying on the theme of tweening, we're going to look at a slightly different tween this time. We're going to look at the classic tween and we're going to look at the differences between the shape tween and the classic tween. So I'm going to go ahead and open up an Action Script 3 document. And here we are, we've got my stage ready to go. So I've got nothing on my timeline, nothing on my stage. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change, if I go into properties, change the colour of my stage to black. Now, I'm going to be using the orange logo, orange mobile logo for this particular animation. So I've already gone onto the internet and I found the orange logo on Google Images and I've saved it to my area. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, is I've got to import it. So I go to File and Import. Now I can either import it directly to the stage or I could import it to the library so that I can use it whenever I need to and it's not on the stage automatically. So I'm going to import to my library. So, but it's totally up to you what you want to do with that. So I'm going to go down to the orange logo and I'm going to open that. And what will happen is now you can see that nothing's really happened on the screen. But if I go into my library, which is just the options beneath the properties option, you can see that my orange logo is now saved into the library. So if I click and drag the orange logo onto the stage, you'll notice that it is a bit too big. So what I need to do is I need to scale this down to fit on my canvas or onto my stage. But what you can see at the moment is it's difficult for me to be able to grab the corners because I can't really see it. So I'm going to zoom out. Let's go to 50%. Yeah, that'll be fine. I can see all of the shapes so I can actually now drag the corners and make it smaller to fit onto the stage. So what I do, making sure I've got this selected, is I go to the free transform tool over here, which now, as you can see, it's given me the option to resize it. Now, if I just drag from the corner and don't like that, and you haven't got a steady hand, you can see that actually you can you can actually make some big mistakes there, and you can distort the image. So if I do Control and Z, just to undo what I just did previously, if I drag from the corners and hold the Shift key, it constrains the proportions and keeps it all exactly the same. So the dimensions of the the image. Uh, the same all the way around, which is good because the logo is essentially just a square. So now it fits onto my stage. So I can zoom back in. I'm going to go to 200% so I can see it clearly. And I'm going to change this now so I haven't got the free transform tool selected. I've just got the selection tool. And now I can move it around anywhere I want onto my stage. But I'm going to put it into the middle. Now if I want to make sure it's in the middle, there's quite a nice little uh, tip, a trick you can use. If you go to Window on the menu options and you go down to Align, what I can actually do, as long as I've got a line to Stage selected, I can actually distribute it to the centre like that. So you can either do it from the left, like so, or the right, which you put it right onto the edges of the stage, or in the direct centre, and the same with the top or the bottom, but I want it bang in the middle. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, now that I've got it selected, I'm going to show you that this is a bitmap image. So unlike a shape which you draw on or using the paintbrush to create shapes, they're not vectors. This is a bitmap, so it means that I cannot use a shape tween for this particular image. So if I just minimize that a second, what I'm going to do now, as you can see, in frame one, I've got a keyframe and this logo is in it. So if I want to make this animation last two seconds, we know that because it plays 24 frames a second, I need to go to 40, the frame 48 on the timeline and insert a keyframe by pressing F6. Now, if I don't insert a keyframe, I can't actually make any changes or movement. So in other words, it's not an animation. So the best way to look at this is I've got my shape selected and in frame one, it's exactly the same as it is in frame 48. So after two seconds of the animation, nothing will have happened. So what I'm going to do in frame one, I'm going to put the logo where I want it to actually start the animation. 
So at the start of the animation, I want it to be off the stage because I want it to slide in to the center of the stage. So that means in frame 48, if I click on the keyframe at the point where the animation is going to happen or where the movement's going to start, I'm going to have the logo in dead center of the screen. So at the moment, if I just play the animation, it starts off the stage and after two seconds, it appears in the middle. But I don't want that to happen. I want to insert a tween so that it fills in the whole animation process automatically for me. So I control click anywhere on the timeline in between the two keyframes and I'm going to create a classic tween. So now if I go back to the beginning, you can see that it's filled in all the gaps. It's got that light purple color and the arrow showing me that between the two keyframes, this is the movement that's going to happen. Like so. And that's how we create a classic tween.